Hey, this is Tom, and we just got word that the Tesla CFO, long-standing CFO, Zach, is now leaving the company. Now, it's not really clear if he's leaving on his own accord right now or that he let them know he wants to leave at the end of the year and they pushed it forward without asking him. You know, I saw a few commentaries on that. It doesn't really matter. Now, at this point, the dude was clearly one of the best CFOs in the market. Just one look at the balance sheet of Tesla shows you how good Zach was at his job. He was a pro of an elite level. I would put him at top five CFOs right now in the market. Him living, obviously, is not a good thing for Tesla. A lot of Tesla bulls are going to be out there on the internet, basically explaining why this is the best thing that could happen for Tesla, etc., etc., etc. Now, whenever we have cheerleaders, we ignore them. Whenever we have automatic haters, we ignore them. There's also going to be people from Tesla Q saying that this is the worst thing because Zach invented the Model 3. Zach invented the entire business model. Without Zach, Tesla is falling apart. Both camps are absolutely in the wrong. Uh, let me explain. As somebody who spent years consulting to uh, multinational companies, I worked for 10 years at Deloitte as a senior manager. My clients were multinational companies. I've seen a lot of good CFOs and I've seen a lot of bad CFOs. And I can easily tell them apart. And Zach... Hands down, one of the best I've seen. Just look at the balance sheet. It's very clear to see the dude knows what he's doing. However, having said that, I have yet to see a company of any caliber underperform on the business side because of a bad CFO. A bad CFO is unpleasant. A bad CFO can get you in the heap of trouble. There's a lot of issues that comes with unprofessional money management on the finance side. On the uh, regulation side, compliance side, there's a lot of you know moving parts with the CFO, but no company has ever failed or succeeded because of the chief financial officer. That hasn't happened in the history of of of, <laughs> of corporate America or any other country. Uh, just look at how many current CEOs of companies were formerly CFOs. How many chief executive officers were formerly chief financial officers? I'm sure there's a few. But 95% of them were not chief financial officers. Usually the people who get promoted are the COOs or CTOs, etc., etc. You get where I'm going, or VP, R&D, whatever that may be. The reason is because with a tech company specifically like Tesla, with a growth company like Tesla, with a tech company like Tesla, the role of the CFO is very important, but it's not going to make or break the company. So Zach leaving is definitely a blow for Tesla, no doubt. It's going to be a very big shoes to fill. But it's not the end of the world for the company. It's almost at the point where I would say this is a no news. No offense to Zach, but I mean, they just got to find a good CFO. The thing with Tesla is it's so easy for Tesla to recruit uh, top tier talent. So right now, every, every single professional in finance, every single CFO is hunting for that job. It's very lucrative. So they're going to be able to hire somebody like pro, not the same level as Zach, but he's going to learn or she's going to learn, whatever that may be. And they're going to be fine. If this was Elon living in the company, we would have had a completely different discussion. But this, no news. I'm going to go back to the pool.